Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn two basic rules of capitalization and three different punctuation marks. So let us see what they are. What is capitalization? Capitalization means writing the first letter of the first word as a capital letter. Basic rules of capitalization. Rule number one is first letter of the first word in a sentence is always capitalized. A sentence always begins with a capital letter. Let's have a look at this man. The man is happy. So in this sentence, the first letter of the first word should be capitalized. So that is T. It should be always capitalized. Which letters below should be capitalized? So these are three sentences given over here. Now let us see which letters of these sentences should be capitalized. So number one sentence, the cat is eating. So remember the first letter of the first word is capitalized. Number two, the boy is playing. The first letter of the first word is capitalized. So T is capitalized. Number three, she is drawing. So first letter of the first word is capitalized. Rule number two, proper nouns. A proper noun is a specific person, place or a thing. The first letters of the proper nouns are capitalized. For example, this is a girl and her name is Nikki Thomas. So first letter of her first name and first letter of her last name is capitalized. Number two, this is Taj Mahal. This is a proper noun. So the first letter of Taj and first letter of Mahal is capitalized. We will learn more capitalization rules in my next video of capitalization. Now let us have a look at few punctuation marks. Punctuation marks. In this video, we are going to learn end punctuation mark. Every sentence ends with a punctuation mark. Commonly used punctuation marks are full stop, question mark, and exclamation mark. Okay, so these three are commonly used end punctuation marks. Full stop. We use the full stop at the end of a sentence. We shouldn't use any spaces between the last letter and the full stop. We should use only one space between the full stop and the first letter of the next sentence. Let us have a look at few examples. Sentence number one, she is playing. Full stop at the end of the sentence. Sentence number two, he is going to his school. Again, full stop at the end of the sentence. Number three, I like mangoes. Again, full stop at the end of the 
sentence. Question mark. A question mark replaces a full stop at the end of a sentence when the sentence is a question. Question words like who, when, where, why, what, which, and how indicate that a sentence is a question. If your sentence begins with one of these words, then it should be ended with a question mark. Now let us see few examples. What is she doing? So this is a question. So question mark at the end. Number two, where is he going? Again, this is a question. So question mark at the end. Number three, do you like mangoes? So we are asking, do you like mangoes? So again, this is a question. So question mark at the end. Exclamation mark. An exclamation mark is used to show an emotion or feelings, surprise, excitement or to emphasis on something in a sentence. Exclamation mark replaces a full stop at the end of the sentence. Let us have a look at few examples of exclamation mark. Number one, yay, we won. So this is an emotion, this is an excitement. So we use exclamation mark at the end. Number two, the pizza is so amazing. Again, this is an excitement or we are showing our emotions that the pizza is so amazing. So we will give exclamation mark at the end. Number three, I am super happy today. We are expressing our feelings, our emotions. So again, we will give exclamation mark at the end of the sentence. Let's do a quick recap. In capitalization, we learned two rules. Number one, first letter of the first word in a sentence is always capitalized. The first letters of proper nouns are capitalized. Okay, so these are two rules which we learned in capitalization. And we learned three punctuation marks in this video. They are full stop, question mark, and exclamation mark. Thank you so much for watching this video. In my next video of punctuation marks, we are going to learn comma, quotation marks, and apostrophe. Till then, you all take care and have a good day. Bye-bye.